my name is Paige Wiemey, and I am an associate professor here in the finance group at the Keenan Flagler Business School. And today I want to talk about the opioid epidemic, which is potentially the greatest epidemic in the U.S. and its impact on the economy. So in 2017, over 70,000 Americans died of drug overdoses. So this is higher than the rate from either gun violence, from HIV, from car accidents at each of their peaks. And in particular, the Health and Human Services Department estimates that last year, over 11 million Americans misused opioids. So that's about three and a half percent of our population. So you may have seen articles talking about how firms that are operating in these areas are struggling to find sufficient workers in order to fill all their jobs. Or maybe you've even seen work from economists that mention that the opioid crisis has had a negative impact on our labor force participation rate. This is our, how we measure the percent of people in a given area that are either working or looking to find jobs to work. And so what we try to answer in a paper, and this is joint with Elena Simonitzi and Kylie Yi, and we look at what has been the impact of this on local businesses. And so we start by first documenting that indeed, in areas where the opioid crisis has been more severe, that we are finding this reduction in the labor force participation rate. So this should make intuitive sense. As individuals in a local area are struggling with drug addiction, they're gonna be less likely to be able to hold down a job. This is also gonna have a direct impact on the local businesses. Labor is a key input into these firms. And as the labor force declines, we're gonna see also a decline in sort of both the sales and the employment at these companies. The next thing we look at is how firms respond to this. Obviously, firms are going to adjust, and the margin on which they are going to adjust is they're going to invest more in automation technologies. So this is going to be any sort of investment where they can use dollars to replace labor input. And what we find is that, indeed, in these communities that have been most hit, by the opioid crisis, there is this increase in investment in these types of automation technologies. And this has long-term implications for these communities. So thinking forward a few years, we can hope that the communities will be able to find ways to get some of these individuals who have previously been struggling with drugs to get back into the workforce. Unfortunately, once companies have used automation to replace a job, it is likely a permanent change. And so a lot of these jobs that these workers may be able to go back into are going to be lost in the local communities. We do have one positive um, result in the paper, which is that there are some actions by states that do seem to be having an impact. And so these are going to be legislation that reduces opioid prescriptions. So about 25 states have passed them at this point, such as the North Carolina STOP Act. And what we find is that upon announcement of these legislation, that the stock prices of companies that draw workers from the local areas that are going to be impacted by this legislation tends to go up. And it tends to go up most among companies that depend most on that local labor pool or companies that have previously invested the less, least into technology.